Mo Chowdhury is so rich, he usually gets people to do his dirty work for him. I made my first million by the age of 30. Now, the multi-millionaire is going undercover in one of the poorest areas in Leeds. I've never stayed in a place where there's bars outside. He wants to give a helping hand to the inspiring people he meets. If you don't have role models for your children, they will go astray. But living in Leeds' biggest Asian community will challenge his prejudices. I'm very disappointed with the whole situation. Money is not the only answer. It's a journey that will force Mo to come to terms with who he is and where he's come from. I've become an alien. I've really become a stranger with my own people. I'm a white man in brown skin. Either you are a Muslim or you're not a Muslim. Over 10 life-changing days, he'll find something he thought he'd lost. You go somewhere, you, have, you, you connect with a few people, you feel alive again, don't you? You feel like you, you belong. <laughs> Only when he finds people that he really wants to help will he reveal that he is a secret millionaire. <laughs> Mo Chowdhury has made a fortune out of fun. He owns Waterworld, the UK's biggest water theme park. He started out with nothing, but now runs a business empire worth nearly 60 million pounds. I'm very disciplined. I wake up at certain times, I go to work at certain times, I train at certain times. My first goal was to make a million pounds. Not just on paper, but physically earn cash, liquid money, a million pounds, having that sort of liquidity. And I did that within five, six years of starting my business. The biggest buzz of all is to be able to take a risk I did it before I was 30 years of age, at a time when that sort of money meant something. You know, today, a million pounds is nothing. Mo's ambition started young, but the odds were stacked against him. He came from Pakistan with no English. Soon after, his family lost everything when their grocery shop failed. What do you think drives you? Uh, insecurity. I've always had the sense of insecurity, even now. Mo was the only Asian at school and was bullied for being different. He had to adapt to survive and left his Pakistani roots behind. In terms of cultural traditions, I mean, I personally, I've lost quite a few of those traditions. My lifestyle is very Western, very European style of living. He now lives in a very English country house in Stoke-on-Trent with his wife Anne and their three daughters. <laughs> he had a little bit of racial upsets when he first came to the UK. But uh, I think he's adapted very, very well. He's uh, become very westernised and uh, he mixes in very, very well, yeah. You got no hockey today, Josie? No. Pardon? The hockey season's finished. Oh. How do you feel about your dad going away, then? Yeah, he's yeah. going to miss my birthday. He's actually going on your birthday, isn't he? Um, I think he's been through that situation anyway himself, so he knows what it's about. It'll just, like, bring back memories and <clears throat> try make him a better person, I suppose. Perhaps I've become a little bit divorced from most people. And it'd be nice to sort of be in an environment where actually I can just be myself. And people can then like me or dislike me for me, rather than for my status. That's what, what I'm looking for, is to see whether I can start to connect with everybody. You know, instead of, instead of having, having barriers. What do the kids call these? Hoodies? Skellies? I've no idea. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, my wife bought me that. Th th thought that would look really cool, you know. Street, street man. No idea what I've let myself in for, but... Oh, you'll uh, be fine. Take care. Right. See you later. Yeah. yeah. Mo's travelling to Hare Hills, the largest Asian community in Leeds. It's a journey that's taking him back to his past. Are we getting warm? Better brush up on my Urdu and Punjabi as well, I think. How is your Urdu? Oh, very poor. Over the years, 
I felt that I really become a stranger within my own with, with my own people. You know, stranger in the sense that I can't even speak the language as uh, like I really should be able to. I don't understand. Uh, my God, totally different mentality, totally different way of thinking. It's got to a stage where I actually shy away from my own communities. Mo will live in an area known as the Curry Mile, and his secret life will last just 10 days. He'll look for and be introduced to people who might need his help. They'll be told he's filming a documentary about reconnecting with his Asian roots. Yeah, it's pretty grotty. <laughs> I mean, I can't deny that. <clears throat> It'll do. It's better than my first bed set. Mm. I've never stayed in a place where there's bars outside. So, I'll be alright. Mo's new home is just three miles from the city centre, but he's in one of the most deprived areas in Leeds, with the highest rate of unemployment. Now oh, then, where do I live? Mo never imagined he'd go undercover in an Asian community, left him with a dilemma. He's going to have to rethink who he wants to help. I don't want it to just be a Pakistani project because my life has taught me more than that. And my life has taught me that there's a big wide world out there and there are a lot of decent people, no more decent than the English people, if I'm really dead honest about it. And if it wasn't for the, the English community, the English persona, I wouldn't be where I am. Self-made man Mo Chowdhury is living undercover in Leeds. He's a fitness fanatic, so he'll be working in a gym. He's hoping it will be a way into meeting local people he can help. You want to start with a bit of vacuuming of the reception area? OK, whatever. Yeah. A bit of cleaning equipment uh, to do the mirrors in the gym. If you don't mind. I didn't, I didn't see any mirrors. Oh, OK. Yeah, that's fine, no problem. I think it's important to work hard full stop. Uh, I've always worked, but from the age of 16, I actually became financially independent. And I feel quite chuffed, quite proud of that. What sort of workout do you do here? Yeah, I work my chest. That's it. And now I'm working my biceps. How are you doing? Right? Cool, man. Yeah. I'm the new assistant. Yeah, what yeah, happened? <laughs> they call me Scabber anyway. Scabber? Yeah. My name is Mo. I've been coming here like. 10 years. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, passing and saying hello to the people. Excellent, so excellent. I just pop in to see my friend and thing, you know? OK. Three. Thanks. One perk of the job is free use of the gym. Four. He's training with Scabber, an ex-kickboxing champion. <laughs> you can tell you're a martial artist. Yeah. <laughs> so what does that do? I'm just warming up here. Oh, I see. Yeah, OK. Try PC, your back, your quad, I thought everything. you were just tiring me out. No. I'm warming you up for the weights. <laughs> oh, we got to do more. Oh. Did you hear the crack? Yes, I heard the crack. Did you hear that? Yes. Yeah, loosen all the body bones, yeah? Three, keep them going. Four, let's go. Five. That's hard. That's cool. So tell me about yourself. A lot of young people there, so it's oh, nice yeah. to see somebody. You know how old I am? Uh, My well, oldest daughter is okay. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I didn't hear that, okay? <laughs> I didn't hear that. But you give me the age of your daughter. You must be early 50s. Yeah, I'm 51. 51. Yeah. I'm a kickboxer. Um, I've got my own school. I've got, um, I teach children. I've been doing martial arts since I was young. So would you mind if I come and watch you sometime? I'd love you to come. No, yeah. Come, yeah. you would love it, yeah. okay? Yeah. Mo's looking for more leads, and he's hoping the local newspaper might help. Front page news. There's a community radio station that um, basically has a show of cash. 
But the other interesting thing is that um, they, they usually look for volunteers. Wouldn't mind if you're going down having a look. I thought it'd be a good idea to buy a radio. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. How are you? Alaikum. All right. Thank you. All things with you, okay? Good. Good. Thank you. Good. Very good. I've actually uh, just moved in uh -huh. to the area uh -huh. on a short-term basis. Okay. And I haven't got a radio in my flat. Oh. Do you sell radios? Yes, we do. You need a small radio, large radio. Well, I just need a radio that can function because I need to listen to a radio specific. In fact, the, the local radio station. Are you familiar with it? This uh, oh, yeah. Fever radio. Fever FM. Yeah. Yeah. Do you listen to it? Sometimes. Sometimes. What do you think about it? It's okay. It's okay. It's yeah. nice. It gives the community information and everything. Yeah. So it's good for the community. Something like this? Something like this. Yeah. Since I was about 17, 18, I've actually moved away from my community. Mm -hmm. And I've not lived within my community at all. And I've built up these sort of prejudices. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm, try I'm, I'm, try I'm trying to correct that now. Right. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I came, right? I didn't know a word of English at all, you know. And when I went to school, it was the same. There was no Asians there, hardly. I felt, you know, you probably felt the same, felt so alone, yeah. being the only one. Yeah. It's a terrible experience. I've become an alien with, you know, I'm a white man in brown skin, in that right. sense, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 and, and that's how we And I'm thinking, saying. well, you know, yeah. if it, it can't all be bad, then I, what I read and hear in the papers and uh, TV. Oh, yeah, I mean, we have a close knit community here, actually. We all work together. And we try and make people welcome. Mm. So, go on. So, what was it? Yeah. Okay. Now? Uh, right. Radio, please. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I just want a simple radio. I'm on very limited money. I'm only have ten pounds a day. I tell you what. You can take whatever you want for four or five days. Whichever radio you want. Wow. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're welcome. I'm 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 overwhelmed that Don't you can be. put a trust in me. That's the least we can do, isn't it? To make you feel welcome. Is it? Okay. Trust in my eyes. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. All the See best. See you. Take Cheers. care. Okay. Bye bye. Quite nice music. I don't understand what they're saying, what they're singing, but uh... perhaps I should mix with my people more than I do. The seeds were sown the day I went to school, and the only Asian in that school. That was the trigger. To survive, Mo abandoned his own language and learnt English. I could not communicate. I had problems. And because I couldn't communicate, I got picked on. Once I was able to communicate, I was able to overcome issues. I think there's a large ethnic population. There's a real need for them to have a voice. Hello. Hello. Hello there. You're the radio people, are you? Yeah, yes. Hello, my name is Mo. Hi, Mo. What's your name? Jabbar. Jabbar. Hello, Jabbar. Yeah. Welcome to Radio Asian Fever. <laughs> Thank you. Mo's volunteering at Asian Fever, a community radio station set up eight years ago by Jabbar. We have an open door policy at the radio station. Right. And uh, we welcome anybody who has passion and commitment yeah. and willing to give some of their own time. But you don't get paid for it. Well, <laughs> OK. It's not for profit. Mm. And uh, at the moment, no one's being paid, to be honest. Really? Really. So not, how, a, not even me. So, so how, do you live, how, do you, how do you sustain yourselves then? I mean, uh... Uh, with, I would say, a bowl full of passion. We grew up listening to Western music and trying to, you know, integrate with everybody else. But then we found out that, yeah, we have a love of our, of our own culture, our own music, and it's beautiful and we should promote it. And thus we never literally looked back. Can I show you around? Yeah. This is our studio. I'll just make sure he's not talking. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. This is Jad. Hello, Jad. He's doing a uh, Pondra show, which is another young people. Uh, it's a very popular show. And he's one of the top uh, DJs. He does a lot of nightclub scenes as well. We let him carry on. I think he's waiting for us to go so he can talk. <laughs> <laughs> Kitchen in there. Asian Fever reaches out to the whole community. It broadcasts in six languages and tries to involve the area's younger generation. Yeah. Learned this from scratch, basically. So you self-learned, have you? I have, yeah. Really? To me, it just terrifies me, all this equipment. It's um, not that scary, to be honest. Once you get used to it. Jabbar offers Mo a chance to co-host the phone-in show. He's in at the deep end. Today's issue is arranged marriages. 
Did you have an arranged marriage? Um, no, I didn't. Obviously, I think my family did want an arranged marriage for me. And, um, but as it, as it actually happened, I went into further education, uh, met, met a, a, a lady I'm married to now. Uh -huh. uh, it was my, my personal choice. And not only did I actually not marry to another Pakistani, I actually married outside the race and, and, and uh, married, married an English lady. And we're going to go straight to uh, the next caller. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. What would you like to say today? Well, uh, many times mm -hmm. I've told you, you are either a Muslim or you're not a Muslim. There is no in-betweens. This is Western thought. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In Western uh, social activities, there's a lot of things take place which are forbidden in Islam. Hanji? Before marriage. Yes, kid. Yes. Okay? I'm listening, I'm listening. Yeah. Uh, did you involve yourself in physical contact with your uh, so-called wife before you married? Shaquille, let me respond to, respond to that. I think we're getting to a territory that's not relevant to you or anybody else. The, the it fact, isn't. The, no, 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 no. But it, it, the fact it is the matter, relevant to this no, uh, topic we are uh, going on with. The fact of the matter is this. I'm happily married. I've been happily married for 20 years. But, uh, um, how uh, I live I my life, say, how I live my life, really, is, is, is obviously a big division. I've told you, either you are a Muslim or you're not a Muslim. OK. Yes, well, yes. Shaquille Saab, thank you very much for your call yeah, today. You are cutting me off. No, no, no. No, I know you haven't finished, Shaquille Saab, but it's very important that we respect um, the listeners and also others around us. I mean, uh, you know, indirectly, you know, you can say it what you like. Yes. However, it's very important to do this. The phone-in only reinforces Mo's views. There's a strong element within communities that actually hold communities back. They think they're doing good. They think they're doing good for the community, but in fact, they're, they're, in my books, they're actually quite ignorant people. It really bothers me that in the 25, 30 years since I've been out of the community, it's gone, it's gone backwards rather than going forwards. Mo's frustrated. He heads to the park to clear his head. He's the organizer, is he? Yeah. Is he? Is he any good? Oh dear! Sure. It's a new game to us, you see. Stop it! Is it? Stop yeah. it! Fine. So you have a beer? Yeah. I'm on one. Anwar. Anwar. Hello, Anwar. I'm joining with the virtual players. So. All oh, right. Can I? Can I join in? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. yeah. You know, you need to do it. Hang on, hang on, man. What's the egg? Go back. No, no, you get big one. Go back, man. The softball game is part of a youth project set up by Anwar and Zabir in a move to keep the kids out of trouble. There are lots of kids around there. They're all drugs around there. There are drugs around there. So there's nothing much going in the park anyway. Either you got a group of five stood there, group of five stood there, yeah, smoking away yeah. the drugs, doing yeah. their own thing, crimes or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. No. They got a f couple of hours where they can come to us, have a little game if they got any problems or if they're going through any problems, they can have a little chat chat to us. It's kind of hit me today, really. You know, what sort of things these kids are up to. And it's all bad, and there's a hardly any good that I see. We were all sort of chipped in 25 pounds, 50 pounds, bought some nets, badminton nets, rackets. Mm. Well, hopefully, we're, we're trying to get more funding for like a building and a little mini bus as well. It's coming to summertime. Right. And this, they have nothing much better to do, either right. play or you can take them out on trips as well. We've got a, a wish list. Wish we had a property, wish we had this, wish we had that. But well, we all wish things, don't we? But there are ways of actually getting those things executed. 
wishes just don't come, come, come real. They really are trying to do good and they try and get the community involved. But I'm not convinced that they've actually thought through how they're going to do it. And until they've thought that whole process through, then there's no point throwing money at them. After several days in Hare Hills, Mo's even more estranged from the culture he came from, and prejudices are holding him back from finding people to help. I feel pretty unhappy if, if I'm going down a route where all I'm doing is just going through the motions of giving these people money, and per se, because money is not the only answer. I'm very disappointed with the whole situation. Yesterday's experience was the most challenging. Okay, and I felt uncomfortable. My annoyances came out, you know, the most standard sort of prejudices about the Pakistani people being disorganized, uh, unruly. I'm thinking myself, you know, I've been there, I've actually come from the same gutter as you, as you, as you kids have. So why, why can't you do it yourself? Why can't you do it? Chowdhury is living undercover in Hare Hills, but over halfway through, he's frustrated. He can't find anyone that he wants to help. Today, his gym partner, Scabber, has invited him to join his martial arts school. You know, I was brought up in the, in the days of the 70s and the 80s when there was a lot of trouble. Me too, yeah, I, you know. I know that. But even though we were brought up in that, right, you must admit, right, our children today has got no manners. That's very because true. Because we, we might have been brought up in those days, yes, yes. right? But we had manners and yeah. respect for our elders. Yeah. If, if you don't have role models, role models and heroes for yeah. your children, yeah, they will go astray. You're absolutely right. You yeah, understand, my friend? A absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. Like my grandmother tell me, you know, that respect starts from home. Yes. You understand? And if you don't have respect at home, yeah. how are you going to have respect on the street? Exactly. That's impossible, exactly. man, you know? I agree. Yeah. See a variety of children as well. Yeah, that, that, that's yeah. it. Show the kids that there's more to life than the streets. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're doing a great job, man. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? You're doing a great job. Scabber's classes are more than just a way of keeping the kids off the streets. He also acts as a mentor. When we all sit down together and we have jokes together, mm. while we're stretching yeah. and while we're laughing, and then as a, as a grown-up, you throw in. Anybody's yeah. been bullied today? Come on, put your hand up. You don't have to be frightened. And they say, really? and, and it brings them out. You understand? Because you cannot have a child being bullied and keeping secrets. All I know is I, ha I had nobody like you, yeah. somebody like you to help me at the, at the time when I was being bullied as a, as a child. Yeah. And I couldn't speak to my parents either. No, you, you know, can't. It, it was horrible, really. Yeah. I mean, but how do you actually finance all this? I mean, how do I finance yeah. all this? Well, this is a story that if you want to hear. Um, <laughs> I've done this with my gyro. I've been into skips. I've been, I go to um, shops and I ask them with my smile and they give me. And, and you pick up all the stuff from the rubbish yeah, bin? Yeah, you know, the rubbish bin, loads really? of stuff. Yeah, loads of bags and stuff. I people, go in, people throw that sort of stuff yes, away? Yes, I, I find them in rubbish bins. Stuff, bags, all stuff. Yeah, I've been doing it for ages. Because you have to, because I haven't got no money. So. You've got to do these things, and you've got to wipe them, and you've got to put the work in, and they look good. Well, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, what's the word? Gobsmack, that's the word. Everybody is, but it's a yeah. fact. Mo wrote off the radio station on his last visit, but he's giving it another chance. He joins Jabbar on the afternoon show. If you want to dedicate any songs to your family, your friends, or simply for yourself, you can do so, and the hotline number is... Out. Uh, 24 0 22 22. <laughs> <laughs> I put him on the spot. 
about it. You don't even enjoy that. I know that, but I, f- I forgot the flow. Okay. <laughs> Shall I try again? Yeah, go yeah. then. And the hot line number is. Uh, <laughs> I tell you, it all sounds bloody easy, doesn't it? But uh, when, when you're doing it, just... Man, you're doing that for two hours now. You're just buzzing. Yeah. When Spectrum got at his arms and you're going into your music, and you know, DJ comes, go away. <laughs> I can see, I can see why you're doing it now. Yeah. I can see why you're doing it, yeah. There, there's that buzz, the, the adrenaline rush. Jabara and the team have more than enough passion, but what they lack is equipment. They were hoping the council would save the day. We were promised the funding, right. and we had all this funding, and we had all this, we did the research of, this was supposed to be the studio, actually. And in the 11th hour, they said, oh, by the way, there's a little problem. I said, what's that? Well, we don't think we should fund you. Really? That's unbelievable. I mean, it I mean is. can they really do this? I mean, well, they did it. Know. If the station didn't exist, mm. what do you think uh, the impact that would have on the community? Oh, in, sorry, I'll let you answer Well, to me, the community would be voiceless. It would become isolated as it always has been. It is quite regular, actually. Yeah. Yeah, mean? food for everyone. Yeah. No, yeah. guys. I, I thought we were going to wear with the kick up. <laughs> <laughs> and it left all the reason I'm sure we'll make sure. <laughs> they were all so friendly, you know, and they're very open people. And they were opening me up a little bit in terms of my own preconceived reservations and judgment about <clears throat> Asian communities. And so far, it really has enlightened me. It started to make me change my way of thinking about, about the Asian people. Mo's finally making real contact with the community. It's challenging his prejudices and forcing him to rethink his strategy. I suppose I had a, still that business mentality, but I was being very clinical and detached from the people I was uh, supposed to be engaging with, I've got to try and get off my high horse and ease off a little bit. And I've started to sort of look for reasons why I should help them rather than reasons why I shouldn't help them. With only a few days left on the cover, Mo starts anew. He's going back to Anwar and Zabir's youth project to give it a second chance. This is good fun. <laughs> so does that mean I carry on if I keep winning? Yeah. 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 You know when you hit it, yeah. you go around the bases. What, what am I doing? You were going through the bases. Am I? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's why that little kid was screwing at you. Was like, oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? <laughs> After the game, Mo meets some players whose lives have been turned around by the project. This thing that um, Oliver and um, Barry are doing, mm-hmm. right? About this uh, club. Yeah. What do you think about it? Good. When they were kids, they used to mess about, but they yeah. don't want them to go down that way. They don't, as well. they, yeah. they don't want the youth of today yeah. doing that. Especially this area as well. Yeah. All sorts happen drugs. Right. They get sucked into drugs like I I got sucked into drugs before. Yeah. I've been convicted of come out. Right. But now I'm trying to stay away from yeah. there again. So it helps you the fact that they, they organise things it for does, you. It does, it does. With his fresh outlook, Mo's seeing beyond the stereotypes that held him back. I suppose if I'm really dead honest, with Oliver, I saw him with, the, with his um, beard and his sort of odd kameez, and I just had a stereotype, you know, of a typical Pakistani man. Uh, he just had it set in his ways. With big decisions to make about who to help, hey Mo wants to get to know the men behind the project. Thanks okay. for coming on. Welcome, Islam. Come on in. Come on in. Just, uh, just close the door after you. Yesterday, I just felt the group were quite unruly and it was a bit, a bit just generally disorganised and so on. That's our reality, you see. You're going to have kids who are going to be swearing, messing about, they're, they're fresh off the street, mm. you know, and they need a whole load of encouragement. Mm. We're not miracle workers, mm. we're only there. I can actually relate know, to that. I mean, you know, I it's going to take that. time. Ah! I was having a drug problem myself. I was when I started smoking weed and, and jumped onto smoking heroin. Now I was in that trap for nearly five years, and I tried to come off it, but 
It was so difficult time of my life, and it was the worst time of my life. I want to see anybody going through them sort of problems. It's, it's a scary thing, so it's to help him out before it's too late. Crime in the Asian community has gone up. Drugs have gone up in the Asian community. Basically, it needs to be nipped in the bud before it escalates more and more and more. Mm. Even if it's a couple of hours a week, even if it's disorganised, it does not make a difference to me. To you, no, honestly, you know, just, it, we just need our children off the streets. I've been selfish. Just look after myself. Not worry about anybody else, you know. But uh, let them... Let them worry about themselves and, uh, you know, all I'm interested in is just looking after me and my immediate family. And um, what they're doing is, is quite, quite hard, very hard, in fact. I mean, how many of us would give our time up for somebody else? Mo's slowly getting back in touch with his roots. It's left him hungry for a taste from his childhood. You know what they say? <laughs> if you could ride a bike, you never forget about riding it. Well, I was hoping that's exactly what I'm going to feel like with, this, with these eggs. Mm. That's it. will soon have to decide who he wants to give his money to. Today, Scabber's running a fun day to raise cash for his club. It's a last chance for Mo to find out whether he needs his help. Hey, Mo. Hi, Scabber, how are you doing? You want some food? I'm just thinking about it. How, how are you? Yeah, you yes, all right. I'm looking for you. Yeah. Christy, this is Christy. This is my girl, man. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? I'm OK, are you? She's nice cool, to meet huh? you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, are you involved with this project? I mean, what, what well, Winston is doing? Officially, no. I mean, I help Winston, but really only with what he needs my help with. I'm not an instructor. I've never... No, 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 but you're, you're my lady, and she helps yeah. me with the paperwork. So, this is a fundraising exercise for you today, right? Yeah. So, so, you're going to raise some money today to, to help you with your uh, project. Project, you know what I mean? Yeah. What's, what's, your, what's your main uh, cost with, 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 with what you're doing? Our rate bill is quite high at the moment because we've got the full rates for 2005, 2006. Yeah, but well, we're doing the right yeah. thing, though, innit? We're, we're doing the right thing. That's so right. 100% of the people who come to my gym do it voluntary. Right. And There's also no me. No. I'm also, even though I am the um, chairman, yeah. as you know, you can be a chairman and yeah. don't get no pay. Yeah, yeah. Even though I set this up, I am yeah. still not getting no pay. Right. I, haven't, I haven't had pay for two years. I, I, have, I don't get paid for this, yeah. nothing. It's very difficult to sort of ask people to pay you for something that you're already doing for free. Yes. That's true. That's right. Very difficult. That's right. Are you able to tell me what sort of raise you've got? Well, yeah, it's a, I think it's about £2,000 at the moment for the rates, and we're yes. about £600 behind on the rent. We are on the rent, yeah. You'll miss! In this face, in this face. On his nose. On his face? Yeah. You'll miss! Oh, he's gonna miss, man. <laughs> Feel like brave hard now. He's gonna yeah, miss. He's gonna miss the, the break. I'm confident. You've done it. Come in, man. <laughs> After the fun day, Scabber and Christy invite Mo back for a drink. Hey, sit down, man. Make yourself okay, at home, okay, man. Okay. Winston wants to give everything away for free. He wants to give his love and his energy and 110% of what he's got. And he wants to just, like, make it free, make everyone happy, make everyone have a great time. But um, he also wants to run a gym and he also wants to be employed and, and self-sufficient and making a better life for all of us. And it's been really, really hard. A bit of help wouldn't go amiss, would it? I know, and it makes me... Cr I'm, I'm going to be one of the most unpopular people in the world. No, you won't. Because, honestly, I'm trying to rein him in and stop him from giving it all away because I know that, at the end of the day, we have to pay the, the bills. 
and if the, those bills don't get paid, I don't want the gym to disappear. I don't want the people to be just like, end up with nothing. Just days ago, Mo couldn't find anyone he wanted to help. But now, as his life on the cover comes to an end, he faces a very different dilemma. It's a real toughie. Obviously, I've had a seesaw of emotions all week in terms of how much and who to and so on. At the moment, I just don't know. I still haven't decided. Mo's stay there is nearly over. He spent his life moving away from the Asian community, but after 10 days in Hare Hills, he's finding it hard to leave. Why have I all these years detached myself? I've shunned my community. I've gone out of my way not to involve myself or engage with them. You know, what have I got to fear? Absolutely nothing at all. They're very warm, hospitable people. Uh -huh. Promise is a promise. The Asian mentality, the, there's a lot of negatives, and there's a lot of things I don't see eye to eye with my own people. In a way, it's actually highlighted all the positives of particularly Asian communities and the hospitality. Now, after living undercover, he's finally ready to reveal who he is and who he wants to help. I never thought I would uh, feel good about giving money away like this. During the last 10 days, I've had a, I've, I've had a roller coaster of, of emotions and uh, changes in my opinion. I'm not used to that. You know, I don't just decide and that's it, it's done with. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Wow. You look smart. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Okay. Good man. I just wanted to say my goodbyes today. Yeah, yeah. And I also wanted to be up, up, up front with you about something. Go on. I'm not who you think I am. Right. I'm actually a millionaire. Oh, very good. All right. Very good. Um, I've seen you guys do some fantastic work. Right. I really think the people like you should be encouraged and motivated. So as a result, I've decided to give you some money. <laughs> and this money yeah. is there for you to buy whatever you want to do. But if you could buy a minibus with this money, it will be wonderful for you and your community. Oh, oh, oh huh? nice. thank you thank very, you very much. much. Huh? Honestly, really, thank you very much. Wow. When I first, let me be dead honest with you, when I first saw you, mm. I, I had the stereotype about uh, our people, you know? Yeah. Be it, dopey, yeah. yeah. sort of alchemies, mm. and I didn't know how to take you at first. Yeah. Okay. So I had to overcome my own prejudices. Thank you. Okay. You don't even know. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thank Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Really, thank you. Yeah. You take care, guys. Keep the good work up. Mo's gift of £8,000 is a lifeline to the project. It will help them to grow. Ecstatic. Seriously, just like, wow. It's it's isn't it? yes. You watch it on telly, don't you? You, know, yeah. and you think, wow. It's that. not going to happen to me. It's, it's always happening to somebody else. Yeah. It's always happening. Yeah, happens and it, happen to, it happens to you. It is a big win for We've never had anything like this, do you know what I mean? Inside, you feel really good that you sort of achieved this. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Wow. I thought, I thought, I thought I would uh, dress up for you. Thank you. Wow. I've got something to own up to. Okay. All the things I told you is true, mm -hmm. except one thing. Okay. I'm actually a multimillionaire. Oh, wow. All wow. right? Nice. So, as a result, I'm going to give you a gift. Jab, jab. <laughs> You can, pound. And you can you can double that. You can double that with your match funding, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. You are beautiful. Come on, Pete. You guys are the heart of the community. You've got a really, really uh, strong message to deliver, right? You can be the gel between 
the mix between this here and, and the wider, bigger, the wider, wider winner, yeah? yeah? Thank you very much, all of you. Thank you for your hospitality, your company. All the best. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Now, that was a lovely, lovely man. When he <laughs> handed the money over, I thought, you're joking. You really are joking. It's a wind up. A very, very nice man. <laughs> we had no money, and now we got. 14,000 pound and 14,000 is like 140 to me. On his way to deliver his next gift, Mo drops in to say thank you for the radio he was loaned. Hey boss, how are wow. you? Wow, wow, wow. I thought I'd surprise you today. Yeah. So you guys smart today, man. And the reason why I wanted to come back and see you is because you're a gentleman anyway. But most important of all, you trusted in me, right? You trusted in me, Joe Bloggs, hmm. didn't know anything about me. And I know it wasn't a lot of money, but it's more point of principle, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so obviously you don't know, but uh, I'm actually uh, a multimillionaire. Come on. All right. <laughs> well, a new millionaire now. There we are. Nice to meet you. Shukriya, nice thank you very much. I decided really that your gesture to me deserved it an equal gesture back in return. There we are. I really don't it's, know what to it's say. Just a, just, a, just a token of my appreciation. You, you're surprised, man. Clearly I'm shocked, right? I really don't know whether I, sh I could accept this, really. No, no, you must accept it. No, I appreciate the fact that you, you appreciate what I did for you, but that's what brothers are for. Well, okay, I don't know how okay. to accept If you're not going to take it for you personally, then take it for a project. This is from my heart. Eh? Thank you very much. Much appreciated, really. Maybe okay. we'll, yeah, we'll stay in touch. I'm sure. Okay. Right. Do stay in touch. I mean, I don't know whether we're on the same class now, you see, because no, we're, we're multi-millionaires now, you see. We'll always be on the same class, mate. Really? Always. You yeah. know. I'm glad you think that it way. Come, it comes from this, doesn't it? Definitely. Definitely. All right. From the really. office, huh? Thank you. For See that you later. Well. Cheers. Thank you very much. I'm shocked, actually. Mo leaves a thank you gesture of a thousand pounds. <laughs> You're looking super sexy, man. Uh, wow. Hi, Christy. How are you? You look very different. Wow. Well, I thought, I thought I'd make an effort for you. I just thought I'd better say my goodbyes to you. You've been really kind and uh, hospitable to me, and I really, really appreciate that. But I just need to uh, own up to something. Yes. I'm actually not who you think I am. Who are you really? I'm actually a millionaire. And uh, I know you've got some problems and issues, so I thought I'd take your troubles away. Mm -hmm and I'm going to give you a donation, okay? no condition. Oh. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> You're lost of words, aren't you? Oh, my, I... Mo, I, I can't... Um, I'm really lost for... We're both lost for words, really, because we just... Um, Winston's put his heart and soul in. I can, in, see, it. I can see that. You're a good man. And he'll continue yeah. to. Yeah. He really yeah. will. You're, you're a great man, man. Come on, give me a Come on. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Be happy, Winston. It's good news. It's the first time I've not seen you smile. <laughs> you're a really, really good man. You're gold, you know? And what you're doing here is really good, right? And keep the motivation up and keep doing it. I can help you in a lot of ways. Not just, not just with, with what I've just donated for you. You lost for words, Scabba. Come on, say something, man. <laughs> Be yourself. Good on you, man. Eh? <laughs> it's coming back, man. The smile's coming back. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say, man. Thank you, Paris. Yeah. No kissing. OK. No, <laughs> no kissing. <laughs> and no tongues. <laughs> OK, no tongues. See you. See you. Bye. 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 Thank you. We're not closing. No. Mo's £6,000 gift will help the club clear its debts. In a funny sort of way, it's sort of going to be sad to leave this place. You know? But it's like, a, it's like a, any, any, anywhere, you go somewhere, you, have, you, you connect with a few people, you feel alive again, don't you? You feel like you, you belong. 
So what was I looking for? Was it, was it that? I feel very comfortable in this environment. No problem. OK, see you later then. Six weeks later, Mo's money is making a massive difference. Amwar and Zabir are buying a minibus to take the kids camping. Somebody's come and had a look at what we're doing and they've seen that we are doing really hard work and, and we, we, we were struggling with it, but somebody's came and given us that boost. Definitely. Yeah. It's honestly, that's from my heart. It's a really great feeling. Even a pat on the back is good sometimes, you know, when you're down and you've got 40 kids and you think, well, is it worth it? You know what I mean? And next minute, a guy just comes out of the blue, like I said, and he just gives you it. The radio station has a new transmitter and can take their message to an even wider audience. Well, a couple of months ago, I was under extremely lot of pressure making ends meet, and now we're actually shopping for equipment we were only dreaming about. And Scabber's gym is thriving. We've, we've paid all the bills, yeah, which is um, the rent, the... Well, we had, um, we were about, was it four months yes. behind on the rent, and we just had our statement through, uh, which shows just the June rental and no arrears. I didn't feel good until when I, I started paying my, um, my debts, isn't it? That's when, I, that's when it, it really um, dawned on to me that I had some money to pay these debts. I've always been me, 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 and maybe now I'm ready for the wider world. And, uh, and perhaps I would like to think that one day, if I can be successful enough, that most of what I've earned in my life, most of what I've acquired, I can actually give it to good causes. And there, there are a lot of things that I can do with that, with, with that wealth.